Well, we're a bit of a dead man walking at the moment, because we're coming out to the part where we have to get attention so we get sent off to go, you know, help Hagrid. So yeah, Snape's waiting for us. There's no kidding around it. We are busted. <laughs> like, like, seriously. Ugh. I hate the fact we have to get caught, but there's not much I can do about it. You know, besides mope about it. So I might as well just take our punishment like a man. Hello there, Mr. Potter. The fame has well and truly gone to your head. I think you think you can sneak past me. I mean, seriously, you don't even have an invisibility cloak. Yes, I think this deserves attention with Mr. Hagrid tomorrow. <sighs> sure, I can find you something beastly. You now get back to your common room, boy. Man, that just sucks. Well, let's see. Where's the the main stairwell at? I'm getting off track, apparently. Where are you at, main stairs? Gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, there we go. So I just need to go a bit down and around, huh? Yeah, whatever you do, don't try going up the uh, main stairwell. Snape's waiting for you. So you can take off even more points. So make sure you take the secret passage, you know, because it's the only safe way to do it. Now it's time for some pig snouts, man. Well, I hope you're happy. You got me to attention, damn it. Oh, I got it, all right. It says here that the Sorcerer's Stone currently in existence belongs to the 665-year-old alchemist Nicholas Flamel. 665, huh? I see what you did there. Just one short of the world's most evil number. Hmm. May those Christians that were super worried about Harry Potter being evil were onto something. It's satanic, man. It's just being in a wink and a nod there with that number, right? Interesting, right. I'm sure you just you just interested, not why, you know, steal a stone for yourself to make a bunch of gold, right, Weasley? Try the fall of your broom during the match today, Potter. Or you might end up with ragged clothes like poor Weasley here. Just watch it, Malfoy, or I'll make you spit slugs. You'll what, Weasley? Tell your mommy? She can't even mend your clothes properly, let alone fight your battles for ya. That's it, Malfoy, I'm gonna make you spit those slugs for days. Ah, leave it, Ron. He's not worth it. I thought that was my decision, but whatever, let's just go to the quidge pitch. And hopefully we don't fail this time. I honestly hate catching the snitch. Um, but we need the house points, so I can't afford to lose. It's one of those damned if you do, damned if you don't situations, I suppose. And why does that song sound like something I'd hear in America? Like, I don't get it. Just feels a bit off, you know? Maybe it's for Bandit Keith. Because he's playing the game. In America. That's how he always is. Okay. Time to take on Ravenclaw. Now the question is, where's the snitch going to pop up? Oh, practically right on top of it. Sweet. Unfortunately, you know, it's chasing it's gonna be the hard part. Haha! -ha! Um, damn it, we're oriented the wrong way. Ow! Stay out of my way, other players. Damn it! Okay. Come on. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> I'm just not getting close enough. <sighs> Gotta try this again. Damn 
damn it. It's doing some swerves and throwing me off here. Oh, jeez. Okay, got it. Probably the same thing as last time, right? Yep. They do not give me the best orientation for that. Okay. Well, no. Got it. Okay. Well done, Harry. You were absolutely brilliant. Brilliant, I say. You gained 50 house points for Gryffindor. Sorry to remind you, Harry, but Professor Snape's asked me to take your detention. I think Snape's out to get me, Hagrid. Oh, Professor Snape's all right, really. He just he's a mite, well, a mite over the top with his punishments. Sometimes. Now, I've just got a couple of things to prepare for, so I'll meet you at the forest edge by the gate to the Forbidden Forest. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Until next time, then. See ya.